Hi, my name is Professor Silver, and you're watching Pokemon Explained, where we focus on the narrative arcs of all our favorite characters from the Pokemon anime. In today's class, we'll break down the complete history of Jesse's Mimikyu, detailing all its battles, storylines, and character development. Jesse met Mimikyu in loading the decks while searching for a replacement to her Gorgeist, who she had left behind at Team Rocket headquarters. Though Mimikyu's sudden appearance and snapping necks startled Jesse and James, it absolutely terrified Wobbuffet and Meowth. <laughs> Meowth found Mimikyu's speech so unsettling that it refused to translate what it said. Despite Meowth's warning, Jesse found Mimikyu rather cute and requested Meowth help her catch it. After missing Fury Swipes and getting harshly criticized, Meowth made the grave error of trying to remove Mimikyu's disguise. Mimikyu's true form was so frightening that it caused Meowth to pass out and embark on a near-death experience. According to the Pokedex entry from Pokemon Sun, a scholar who once looked underneath Mimikyu's disguise and witnessed its true form got overwhelmed with terror and died of shock. After Meowth woke from his nightmare, Team Rocket escaped into the bushes to hide from Ash and his classmates. Intending to capture Mimikyu, Ash had Pikachu weaken it with Iron Tail. Mimikyu resisted as its disguise ability protected it from one attack per battle and followed up by pummeling Pikachu with Play Rough, walloping it with Shadow Claw, and deflecting Electro Ball with Wood Hammer. Before the battle continued, Team Rocket laid claim to Mimikyu and sent Meowth to its aid. After defending Meowth, Mimikyu accepted Team Rocket as its allies as it held a deep-seated hatred for the Pikachu species. Right as the battle was about to resume, Beware kidnapped Jesse and James, forcing Meowth and Mimikyu to retreat so they could ensure their allies' safety. Back at Beware's cave, Mimikyu resisted several Pokeballs until finally succumbing to a Luxury Ball Jesse stole from James. Since a Luxury Ball causes Pokemon to grow friendlier after being captured, it helped tremendously in acclimating Mimikyu to its new life with Jesse. During its first adventure as an official member of Team Rocket, Mimikyu fired Shadow Ball at Pikachu, withstood Iron Tail with Disguise, attacked with Play Rough, and nearly won with Shadow Claw, but got knocked off course by Rowlet's Leafage. Though Jessie full-heartedly supported Mimikyu's crusade against Pikachu, it often frustrated her by releasing itself from its Pokeball and refusing her orders. Much like with Rowlet, Mimikyu's obsession with Pikachu often left it vulnerable to other Pokemon and their attacks. Notable examples include having Shadow Ball deflected by Popplio's Water Balloon, getting Zing Zapped by Dedenne, getting Frozen by Vulpix's Powder Snow, and getting Blasted by Kiawe's Turtonator. Mimikyu made an exception when an Alolan Dug Trio interrupted its battle with Pikachu, but but it got stuck in tangling hair, pounded by Iron Head, and blasted off by Tri-Attack. Much of Mimikyu's obsessive hatred towards Pikachu stemmed from its own unhappiness with its physical appearance. Unlike most Mimikyu, who wore a costume to appear less creepy and make more friends, Mimikyu dressed like Pikachu out of pure resentment. In the sun, the scare, the secret lair, Mimikyu went all out on Pikachu and earned a definitive victory, but got hauled away by Beware before Team Rocket could steal Pikachu. As the series progressed, Beware often interrupted Mimikyu and Pikachu's battles out of concern for the former's safety. Even though Mimikyu's hatred for Pikachu often got the best of it, Jessie never stopped loving it, even when Mimikyu got her disqualified from a pancake race, went overboard during a baseball match, and accidentally ruined her various schemes. Her devotion to Mimikyu was never more clear than in Mimikyu Unmasked, when Mimikyu's costume tore open and Jessie worked tirelessly to remedy the situation. Jessie offered Mimikyu several replacements, including a cute ribbon, a beach bucket, a frilly purse, and a retro straw hat, but it hated them all and settled on a brown paper bag, much like Charlie Brown. Realizing how much Mimikyu's old costume meant to it, and how much it wanted to be loved like Pikachu, I love Pikachu! I love Pikachu too! Jessie kindly fixed its disguise. After a murder of Murkrow stole the repaired costume, Jessie risked her life to get it back. Having probably never experienced such kindness before, Mimikyu's eyes swelled with tears of gratitude. When the Murkrow returned for revenge, Mimikyu broke free from its baggy prison, returned to its original disguise, and leapt to Jessie's defense. Jessie's actions so inspired Mimikyu that it did what she commanded and knocked out three Murkrow, forcing the others to flee in fear. Thereafter, Mimikyu and Jessie seemed to share an infinitely stronger bond. Without any issues, Mimikyu happily competed alongside Jessie in a Pokemon sled jump competition, helped her make honey donuts, and even defended her food truck from Rowlet. Beyond bonding, Mimikyu also helped Jessie secure a Darkinium Z Crystal by defeating a Totem Alolan Raticate. Though Raticate tanked Shadow Ball and slammed it away, Mimikyu refused to back down and pummeled it with Woodhammer and Play Rough. Mimikyu fought so valiantly that even Meowth gave 
the props. Meowth's praise showed substantial progress in their relationship, as Mimikyu's mere presence had previously petrified Meowth to such an extent that he once compared Mimikyu to a real-life horror movie. Nearly 50 episodes after acquiring Darkinium Z, Team Rocket traveled to Ula Ula Island, where they received a Power Z ring from Island Kahuna Nanu after they saved his niece Acerola from a Gengar and proved themselves powerful battlers. As further thanks for their help, Acerola's Mimikyu Mimikins gave Jesse Mimikium Z so Mimikyu could use a Z move of its own. Mimikyu surprised its teammates by possessing an innate knowledge of its Z move and quickly taught them a series of sinister gestures required to execute it. After Team Rocket mastered the Z-Pose, Mimikyu challenged Ash's Pikachu to a battle at the Thrifty Mega Mart, the same location where Mimikyu are capturable in Sun and Moon. Fighting with an intensity never seen before, Mimikyu activated its disguise, thrashed Pikachu with Play Rough, and clobbered it with Shadow Claw. Pikachu tried to keep its distance with Electro Balls, but Mimikyu deflected the first with Wood Hammer, while the second dissolved before it made contact. After Mimikyu missed Play Rough and struck Pikachu with Shadow Claw, Beware arrived to ferry Team Rocket to safety. Not wanting to end the battle, Mimikyu refused to back down and convinced Beware to let it keep fighting for the very first time in the series. With Beware's approval, Mimikyu resumed the battle with a flurry of Shadow Claws, intercepted Iron Tail with Wood Hammer, and matched Pikachu blow for blow in close combat. Pikachu tried to run away, but Mimikyu chased it through the store, devastated it with Shadow Claw, and easily countered its Electro Ball. Ready to end the battle, Jesse activated Mimikyu's Z move, Let's Snuggle Forever, which allowed Mimikyu to engulf Pikachu within its costume and beat it relentlessly. Unfortunately for Mimikyu, when the attack subsided, Pikachu surprised everyone by revealing it protected itself from the assault using its newly learned Electro Web. Fighting with renewed vigor, Pikachu trapped Mimikyu within its Electro Web and knocked it out with a near unstoppable 10 million volt Thunderbolt. Soon after its loss, Mimikyu traveled with Jesse to the Pikachu Valley, where it fumed with anger at the sight of the Pikachu who lived within. In an attempt to take them down, Mimikyu infiltrated their herd, activated its Z move, and used Let's Snuggle Forever to encase all the Pikachu within its costume. Jessie maintained her pose so that Mimikyu could prolong the move's full power, while James heated the air within Mimikyu's body so it could float like a balloon. Before Team Rocket made off with their bounty, Ash's friend Pikala commanded the Pika Boss to use Catastra Pika to break through Mimikyu's balloon body, free its comrades, and blast off Team Rocket. The two major defeats seemed to intensify Mimikyu's blinding hatred of the Pikachu species and embolden its lack of interest in battling other Pokemon. Thereafter, it produced a lackluster Shadow Ball against Melton, took no notice of Faramosa, ignored a Drampa, and feigned no interest in fighting Ash's Lightning. As further evidence, Mimikyu's profound hostility towards Pikachu totally derailed Jesse's strategy during the Alola Leagues Battle Royal. While Jesse intended to avoid battling and lie low, Mimikyu obliterated one of Hikala's Pikachu, bulldozed through the battlefield so it could annihilate a random Pikachu, and risked Jesse's spawn in the finals by going after Ash's Pikachu. Mimikyu refused to stop fighting, even after Kiawe's Turtonator ended the battle by defeating a Metagross. Though Jesse recalled Mimikyu before it got her disqualified, Wobbuffet lost to Marini in the next round, preventing Mimikyu from appearing in any of the competition's other battles. Soon after the league concluded, Giovanni ordered Jesse, James, and Meowth back to Kanto. Rather than subject Mimikyu to life at headquarters, Jesse released it into the wild alongside Marini so they could live peaceful, fun-filled lives with Beware and Stuffle. After hearing the awful news, Mimikyu tracked down Pikachu for one last battle. It opened with Shadow Ball and followed with a flurry of wood hammers, but got struck by Iron Tail and sent flying flying into the ocean. As it fell, it caught a reflection of itself in the water and lost the will to fight. After being rescued by Ash and nuzzled by Pikachu, Mimikyu regained consciousness, departed from the beach, and waved goodbye to its longtime rival. En route to Beware's den, a dejected Mimikyu ran into Meowth, who consoled it and relayed that nothing good comes from being down on one's looks. Mimikyu took Meowth's words to heart, recovered from its depression, and decided to lead life with a rosier outlook. The scene implied that it had finally moved past its hatred of Pikachu. That same night, Jesse, James, and Meowth left for Kanto and left their Z-Ring in Marini's safekeeping, with the promise that they'll one day return. Though Mimikyu lost Jesse, it maintained a tight-knit family with Beware, Stuffle, and Marini. All four Pokemon reappeared together during a brief cameo in Pokemon Journeys. After suffering a life of loneliness and despair, Mimikyu finally found true friends that would never leave its side.
Mimic you won against Meowth, Ash's Pikachu in Alolan Totem Raticate, three wild Murkrow, Picala's Pikachu Bolt, and a Pikachu belonging to a random contestant in the Battle Royal. Mimikyu lost to an Alolan Dug Trio in Ash's Pikachu. Over the course of the series, Mimikyu used Shadow Ball, Woodhammer, Shadow Claw, Play Rough, and the Z-Move Let's Snuggle Forever. According to a 2020 poll by the Pokemon Company, Mimikyu is currently the third most popular Pokemon in the world, behind only Greninja and Lucario. Given that Mimikyu is more popular than Pikachu and represents massive marketing potential, it wouldn't surprise me if it soon rejoined Jesse's team. Given that Mimikyu is no longer driven by hatred and has finally come to terms with its appearance, it'll be fascinating to see what direction the writers take its character. And with that, class is adjourned. I'll be back next week to cover a different character from the anime. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're never late to class. And for extra credit, like this video and let me know your thoughts on Jesse's Mimikyu. Until next time, catch you later.